Every single business should be running some remarketing ads. And that's not an understatement at all. It's genuinely so important and every single business can leverage this, even just spending a small amount per day to get back in front of people that have shown interest in your business in order to convert them to leads or customers. So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down exactly what remarketing is and how to set up everything step-by-step step in Facebook ads so that you can profitably remarket to those lowest hanging fruit potential customers to collect more money for your business. And you can do this as a complete beginner. It's gonna be super beginner friendly. So sit back, relax, and this is gonna be all the best strategies that you're gonna to need to know about remarketing, how to set it up, and how to get those ads live. If you're not already familiar with remarketing is, it's pretty self-explanatory, right? It's the process of marketing to somebody who has already been marketed to. And why it's so important is these people have already shown some sort of intent or interest in your product or service, right? They've either engaged with you, they've either you know visited your websites, or you have them on some type of list, right? And these are the three main buckets and categories that we're gonna be exploring and setting up for your remarketing, right? So if you have a Facebook, Instagram account, or, and again, this applies to any other platforms as well, right? If you have a Google account, a YouTube account, if you have a TikTok account, whatever it might be, the same principles apply for doing remarketing. So we're gonna go through how to set up your owned audiences. This is audiences that are already on the platform that have shown interest in your social accounts, such as following you, such as engaging with one of your ads, you know, liking one of your posts, et cetera. That's gonna be the first bucket that we're gonna set up and show you how to remarket too. The second bucket that we're going to show you is visitors, right? And these are people that have visited your website that have in interacted with your pixel right off platform in some way. So they've visited your webpage, they've added to cart, they've initiated checkout, they've booked a call with you, et cetera. And the third and final group is going to be lists. And these are lead lists that you might have on your customer, email lists, whatever it might be, how to upload that and remarket that list constantly. And this is going to be your like one of your most warmest possible groups that you should be remarketing to. And the best part of remarketing is you can literally just spend five, $10 a day and get in front of thousands of potential customers and keep your brand at the forefront of their minds so that when they're ready to buy, your brand is right there to capture that sale. So let's jump into Facebook and Instagram ads and let me take you through step-by-step step how to set up each of these audiences and how to launch your first remarketing campaign. All right, so we are in uh, one of my demo ad accounts. Uh, this is the Facebook ad account. So if you aren't familiar with this, um, I have some other videos on the channel for how to set up your ad account. I'm assuming in this video that you're already going to have your pixel set up and you're gonna have your Facebook and Instagram accounts connected into your Facebook ad account so that you can do all these next steps here. So assuming that, we can go ahead and get into it. And the first step that we're gonna be doing is setting up your audiences. Now, these audiences are the remarketing audiences that we're going to be using to, again, target. And these are already going to be warm, existing potential customers that just haven't converted yet, but we know have shown interest in our business. In order to do that on the ad account right here, we're going to go over to audiences right here uh, on this little drop down right here and just open that up. And that's going to bring you to a page that looks like this. Uh, you can see you have a couple options here, custom audiences, lookalike audiences, and then saved audiences. Now, custom audiences is all that we're going to be worried about. And this is uh, custom audiences are essentially owned audiences that we can remarket to. Lookalike audiences are built off of custom audiences to build larger audience pools that are more broad, cold prospects that haven't engaged with us uh, based on customers that have. So we're just going to be concerned about creating custom audiences right here. And there isn't any audiences in here currently. So we're going to set up all the ones that you need to set up for your brand. So go ahead and click on create custom audience. Now, the first one that we're going to do is Instagram account. So select Instagram account and then select your appropriate Instagram accounts on the next page here. OK, so now I have my Instagram account selected here. If you have multiple Instagram accounts, there'll be a drop down. You can select the right one. And then what we're going to do is uh, instead of doing all of these, that um, uh, there's different variations here. But this one, everyone who engaged with your professional account essentially captures all of these different ones. Uh, and then you can also set up a following one. So we're going to do both of those. So everyone who's engaged with this account covers everybody who's engaged with our ads, any posts, viewed any stories, things like that. And the maximum that you can do on this audience is 365 days. So that's anybody who's engaged with your Instagram account in any way in the last year is going to come into this audience for us to remarket to. So I'm just going to name this uh, IG Engagers. 
365 days. And I'm going to go ahead and create that audience. Awesome. So that's our first audience. So I'm going to do the exact same thing going back to here. And then instead of engage with this account, I'm going to go following this account. If you have a lot of followers, this is great as well. And then IG followers just going to name this and I'm going to create that audience as well. So now we have two audiences that essentially capture all of the potential Instagram engagers that we've had on our Instagram account that we can remarket to. And this will populate with your audience size. Um, so if you're not very active on there, you'll still have a small list that you can remarket to and use these audiences. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing on our Facebook page. So I'm gonna go right here and go to custom audiences. And then I'm gonna to go to Facebook page right here. Next, again, select that Facebook page. And then we're gonna do everyone who's engaged with your page in the last 365 days. So I'm gonna create one more. Anybody who's currently liked or followed our page. So those are the th four audiences that you wanna create for your own owned audiences. These are also called the engager audiences that are on platform. Um, for whatever account you're using. And again, this same stuff applies to like TikTok or, or YouTube, uh, like Google ads, they have the same functionalities. And so you can create these same audiences. Okay, the next one, we're gonna go to custom audiences here. The next one is gonna be website. And this relates to your pixel and website visitors, things like that. So we're gonna go ahead and go to website, go next. And then you can see I have my pixel connected right here. And then what I'm gonna do is all website visitors. And what you can do here on pixel data is you can do all website visitors in the last 180 days. And that's gonna get your entire remarketing pool for people that have visited your website. So I'm just gonna name that, go create. So now we have website visitors 180 days that covers again, all of the pixel data, all of the off platform data that we possibly have on customers. And we can do that all from there. You want to, you can get a little bit more technical with website and pixel audiences. What you can do here is you can do people that have visited a specific web page. If you have web pages that are specific for audiences that you want to remarket to, you can also do by events. So maybe you have a call booking form, like we have a Calendly form that we use here. So anybody that books a call, it says a meeting scheduled, we could remarket to those people with a different offer. We could also do purchasers, right? We could do purchasers in the last, you know, 90 days or 180 days. Uh, and we could exclude those people from targeting. But honestly, I wouldn't recommend this. You probably don't have a lot of purchasers. And even if you do, I wouldn't recommend excluding them. Facebook will exclude them automatically. And it doesn't hurt to show your ads to potential past customers because they could always buy from you again. And it just helps overall brand affinity to show ads to existing customers. So I wouldn't recommend excluding, but you can definitely create this audience of purchasers. Okay, so we have that audience there. And those are the two main ones. Um, again, you can get more technical with that, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. And you can see some other ones here like app activity, catalog, offline events, events, all these other things. We never really use a lot of these other things, so I wouldn't worry about it. The only other one is video. And video is great because if you have any video ads, you can actually select those video ads and you can get people to view the last three seconds of your video. So if you have a video ad, this is gonna be a huge audience to retarget to. Um, however, again, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it just because just because they watch three seconds or 10 seconds doesn't mean that they're engaged or are going to buy. So Facebook will automatically optimize that for you. This is an audience that's particularly going to be super profitable in, in most cases, uh, but just wanted to make you aware of that. And you can choose your video ads as well. And that's the other thing with this audience that's not great as well is you have to manually go into here and select the videos or the video ads that you want to add to this audience. So it's not really dynamic like the other ones that will automatically update when you get more people into those audiences. All right, so that's that. And the last one is customer list right here. So customer list is where you can upload a lead list. So maybe you don't even have right a remarketing pool of um, actual customers or actual page visitors or engagers, but you have a cold list of leads that you know are your ideal customers, maybe your B2B like us, and you want to upload those to target to them and just spend a small amount. This is what we do, and you can actually do this as well. So you can upload a, a lead list to here. Uh, and also, if you have other platforms like Klaviyo, MailChimp, whatever, a lot of them have an importing setting where you can actually connect your email list if you're a brand automatically into Facebook ads to re retarget to those people. So you have a couple of those options. If you want to just export your email list or your you know existing customer lead list, then you can upload that here. All you have to do is really just you know go here, click on next, and then what you do is you upload a CSV or TXT file. So I'll just demo that for you here. Yeah, awesome. So I'll upload this as an example right here. Um, I don't have customer value, but if you have purchase value, something like that, you could upload that value as well. So I'm just gonna go no. I'm gonna go next right here. And then you just want to select the variables that um, you have for this. So in this case, email is the most important one because that's the identifier value. This is not country. So I'm gonna go do not upload. And then you just want to go to action needed and just specify these other variables right here. So this is the first name. So I'm just gonna add first name right here to this. This is last name. I'm gonna add last name to that. 
Uh, let's see if there's anything else, if there's title right here. So there's no title category, so I'm not gonna add that. There is no company name category as well. So I'm not gonna add that either. What I will add in is the phone number category. And then I'm gonna scroll down here and then there is location here. So if you have this separated into country, date of birth, you know, um, city, postal code, then you could do that. Uh, this one just has the location generally. So I'm not gonna upload that. And then you have industry and keywords. So really the only things that I can add here are the first name, last name, and the emails and the phone numbers, which these are the main important ones anyways. So that should be totally fine just to upload these. Then you go import and create. So now you can see I had 800, I had 8,569 rows there and all of those were uploaded and I could actually use this as a remarketing audience now to show some ads to this very targeted specific list. So now that we have all of our remarketing audiences, this is how you should be setting up your ad campaign really simply, spending a very minimal amount a day to retarget all of these potential people with ads. So go back to the actual campaigns right here. And then what you wanna do is click on create, and you're going to go ahead and create a campaign either for leads or for sales. Um, I wouldn't do a traffic campaign or anything like that. If you're trying to generate sales, I'm assuming so, you wanna make a sales campaign. That's gonna be the most important to just get, again, additional sales from existing customers or leads if you're more like B2B, something like that. So I'm gonna select sales right here, and then I'm gonna go to name this, uh, just name this sales remarketing. And I'm gonna go continue right here. I'd set this up as a manual sales campaign and then just go continue. And then scroll down right here. What we're gonna do is enable advanced campaign budget. And then you can just set this to literally like $10 a day. So I'm gonna set that to $10 a day Canadian. It's gonna be a super small amount, but our list size is gonna be pretty small too, for our remarketing at least. And so we don't need a lot of budget there. So you can experiment with this, but $10 a day should honestly be totally fine. So now we're at the ad set level right here. You're gonna to wanna to make sure this is clicked onto website so we can send additional people um, that we're remarketing to to our website to some sort of offer that we have. And then I'm just gonna name this um, remarketing all and just have all the audiences in here. Um, I wouldn't get fancy with anything. I just literally put all the audiences into one ad set. We have our pixel right here. I'm gonna select our event. Let's say it's purchase. Um, let's go ahead and add that into there and then scroll down. I'm going to enable dynamic creative right here. And what that does is it's gonna make it really easy for us to set up ads and iterations without having to manually create all the different ads. So making it as simple as possible right here, I'm just gonna leave all of these location settings. For locations, what you would do is just I'd add in the countries that you specifically wanna target. Um, you can do all locations, but you probably don't have an ideal customer right in India or somewhere. Um, that's just not really your target location, um, unless that is the case for you. So what you wanna do is just change those countries again, or you can just leave it blank. If you wanna reach everybody that's potentially remarketing, no matter where they are. So um, what I'm gonna do is switch to original audience options right here. So I'm gonna use original audience, scroll down right here. And then what you're gonna do is upload your custom audiences. So click on this and then you can see, if we go to custom audiences, we have all of our audiences right here. So I'm gonna add this our website visitors, I'm gonna add in our Facebook followers, our Facebook engagers, our IG followers, and our IG engagers. I'm gonna turn off Advantage Custom Audience Plus right here so it doesn't expand our audience automatically. I'm just gonna target this and I'm gonna target Canada and the United States just to keep that spend in regions that I know are going to work for us and our business. I would leave age at 1865 plus and I'd leave the genders as all genders as well. And then I wouldn't add any um, targeting other than that uh, or language targeting, it should be fine. You can add in English if you want, shouldn't really matter too much. And then scrolling down to Advantage Plus placements, I'd leave that as all as well. So moving on to the ad level, all you have to do now is just literally set up an ad for whatever offer that you're running. So I'm just gonna go remarketing one and then um, just add in all of my different ad units that I want to run on this um, potential ad. So I'm not going to set this up right now, but all you have to do is add in a couple different images. I'd recommend just adding in two images or videos with two primary texts, with two headlines and two descriptions to your website page URL um, with, you know, whatever call to action. And then um, just run this ad. And that's going to really simply do some remarketing to that very targeted list for you using a remarketing ad with some simple creative that you've done. I'm just getting, again, back in front of those customers. And what you can do is, this is your first remarketing ad, and so you can test out some different ads right here. And then once you know, you know, once maybe this isn't working as great as you would have wanted, what you can easily do is just duplicate this by going over there, clicking on duplicate, right? And you could do this remarketing all two. And this is your second ad, and all you can do is just leave all the settings, right? leave everything as is, so you're targeting the same audience, and then just go into here, you know, change this to remarketing too, 
adjust all of the ads, all the ad settings themselves, and you can easily run some remarketing ads in this case with some new ad creatives, with some new text, just to try to test out different ads, see what's gonna work for your audience, and if any ads fatigue, easily swap in some new ones. All right, so just to show you this works, this is one of our clients that we're doing some remarketing ads for using the exact same structure. So we have our evergreen remarketing ad, we're spending just $75 a day, and you can see we spent about $862 so far this month. And with that, right, we have about a 0.5 click-through rate, we've generated 31 sales and about a 2.8 ROAS. So we've generated 2,400 in purchases uh, just from this small amount of spend. So uh, it, def it definitely really works, especially when you have organic content, especially when you have these audiences, you just wanna make sure you're continually getting in front of them. And this really does work. So I recommend every single business um, to set up some remarketing ads and it's really that simple to set them up all right so there you go that is how to set up remarketing ads for facebook and instagram i really hope you did enjoy the video i try to be as transparent as possible and show you really step by step in ways that i understand and if you like this format if you like this video definitely leave a like for me it really helps me grow and reach more people and also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any content i'm putting out around digital marketing facebook ads google ads and overall growing and scaling brands with advertising I'll leave a link to another video you can check out from me here. Uh, otherwise, hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.